with Thank you That's for great. joining us today. I'm John. I'm Whitney. And we're here to talk to you today about German potato soup. No, we're not. It wouldn't be fun to do like a little cooking one though. Cooking one? Yeah. Whitney and I are pretty good cooks. We are. Don't like to brag, but sometimes I'm a peacock. I don't think peacocks do that. Yeah, so, do. we're here to talk to you today about one of our favorite ASR tests that just gets a lot of negative press. Yeah, I mean, similar to the Kardashians, um, it has a lot of limelight, a lot of spotlight to right. it. Um, and I think some undue negative press. Could be. So we're here to shed light. ASTMC 12... 16 and 1567. Love those tests. Yep. Standard test method for potential alkaline reactivity of aggregates. So again, we're looking at a potential for the aggregates. Right. Need some coffee? No, uh, uh, no maybe. Mm -hmm. We're going to go get your coffee. But then there's 1567, which is the, the other version of that that we do. Oh, come on. Just go to here it is. 1567 standard test method for determining the potential alkali silica reactivity of combined cementitious materials and aggregate. Where we're adding other supplementary cementitious materials to help us create a, an environment that is not conducive to that ASR thriving and surviving. And in those tests, we create these mortar bars. They're so cute. And we put them. They're so cute. They're so cute. They, we put them in a sodium hydroxide solution that we're going to talk about later. Yep. Um, but we cast them in these beams. Like, look at these beams. Like, do, I mean, does the industry know that we go to all this trouble that we've created and it's like a, a special, special to put these? Right. Like, if you drop or nick one of these pieces, you got to get rid of it. You got to start machining it. And heaven forbid you lose one of these. Um, oh, bolts. screws! They don't make extra. They don't make it. Like, what the crap? Okay, Why would relax. You make relax. Have to buy the whole mold. So, $135 mold if you lose one. Whitney story. and I have a story time that we go over where one of the labs we were working with kind of screwed us <laughs> over. Right. We were making, doing ASR beam. So, we're, I think we had. We just moved here. Just moved here. You know, uh, Jessany was just a baby. Yep. Um, paying for that. You know, right. just moved into the house um, and still partying like rock stars. <laughs> That's not true. So we're in the garage right. um, doing a Howard Dell moment. I don't right. know if his name is Howard. I like it. I th it feels like. Call him Gerard? Well, no, uh, we had a family friend that had a Howard Seidel. Oh, sure. So, so you feel like it's Howard. Dell. You know, right. Okay. It just sounds I like, like it. But anyway, so, you know, the creating the test. So we needed an oven. We needed an oven. We needed a lot of these beams. Right. Um, we needed to learn how to do titration. And there's also these containers, like these. Oh my gosh, the containers. And, and the containers that you have the to The hardest get thing in concrete testing is containers oh, and molds. Seriously. Like, why? Like, somebody needs yeah. to specialize that in for the concrete industry. Right. They would kill it. I know. Sorry, I followed No, you're yeah, fine, you're know. fine. So, yeah, you had to get these. We asked around and found that the uh, large fridge smart containers. Okay, we, we didn't finished. ask around. We worked with Jason Eidecker. Jason Eidecker, yeah. Oklahoma State. No, Oregon State. We asked Jason Eidecker because he is the man with ASR. One of his students yep. worked with us closely on titration, on the method, yes. and we did mix after mix yes. after mix. I mean, and doing these, it's a pain in the butt, but we did it until not only we developed a standard deviation that was right. required by the but that muscle memory. Oh, absolutely. And you, you know, we talk about these stories about investing uh, money, and resources into buying new equipment. Yeah. This was all of that. I know. I'm. Yeah. This is just a, a very time. sentimental story, and I'm yes. trying not to get emotional. But you're both looking. Back. Sorry. Yeah, I'm because both of us. It, it was. A, We're just reminiscing, you know. Um, it was in a plus I'm playing. Yeah, it was, it was an intense time. Um, but it's. But it's it was a, a great scary time. time. Yes, it was for us and reminiscing about that story. I, I, I get kind of emotional talking about it because we had to invest or gamble in ourselves. Oh, absolutely. If you're a business owner, the, the purpose of these story times is to shed some light on, okay, we've had some small amount of success. Right. Boo, boo, boo! But how can people learn from either our success or right. when they are oh, failure, absolutely. how to learn from our failure? Well, and there have been plenty. You know, there's ups and downs with all of them. Right now. Well, the failures we never really talk about. I feel like we do. I feel like we do sometimes. But, um, you know, with every test, there's a learning curve. This one, I feel like, was 
pretty significant, especially with the titrations. Um, Which you get into in another. Yeah, yeah. It was a, it's a lot, but I mean, once you learn how to do the test, just like with anything, it's developing that muscle memory, yep. getting comfortable with it. Totally. Um, yeah, and, and just knowing how to do it. And once you dial that in, then it's it's not bad moving forward. So. Just knowing is half the battle. Right. GI Joe reference. Was that or was yeah. that reading rainbow? No, I think. <laughs> I'm not a betting man, but I think it's a GI Joe. Could be. 1984, 85. Reference. I feel like reading rainbow is around the same time. <laughs> right. No. Not is knowing is half the battle. Let's analyze that first. Second, hey, why would reading they say rainbow knowing you learn is from half reading. the battle? You in learn reading from rainbow. Reading. I just feel like it's a possibility. It's science. It's not feelings. Okay. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you learned something from this story time. I feel like I got in trouble. No, not at all. You're good. Oh yeah, probably. Uh, but let us know if you have any questions, concrete concerns. Go like, concrete. subscribe, hit the bell. Yeah, that too. Go concrete! Beat asphalt!